Hey everybody, it's Erin again, and we are back doing some more ATCs. So after my last round of ATCs, I had a couple people say, I want some, and I thought, okay, well that's fun. And I specifically asked one person what her favorite color is, and she said green. So we are gonna do a green themed ATC set. Um, I also have another round that I'm doing as a challenge, and this time the challenge is to use stamps, um, as in postage stamps, not stamp stamps. And so I've been saving some of the postage that I've been getting recently that look really pretty. And I love all the florals. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna use this one or not, but I definitely love all the floral ones. And then here was another one with a floral on it. So that's been kind of the theme and I thought it would go really well with the green. So that's where that came from. And lastly, um, I wanted to use some of the brand new stamps and again, some of the same stencils that are from Brutus Monroe. So I'm kind of combining the three concepts together. This paper right here is a foiled paper from Rainia Foil, and I'm just using it to kind of offset and still a fun green color. And I think I'm gonna do a punch with it. So, but that's gonna come later. The first thing though, is we are gonna start with some papers. And I'm gonna start with these papers right here. Cause I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna go ahead and do eight. As long as I can get eight out of this. Uh, I may not be able to, so we'll see. So what I'm working with right here is a set of papers that from the mixed media pad, which is by Canvas Core, um, titled with Brutus Monroe. And it's a whole series of different types of papers that all have different consistencies. So this is more of a heavy cardstock, which is gonna be my base. But I also pulled out, look at this cool textured paper. So awesome. That we're then gonna play with some of the inks and stuff. And then I also have kind of like a watercolor paper. So we're gonna do some layering on here as well. So the first thing is we need to cut our ATCs down to size and the size is three and a half by two and a half so I'm gonna start with the three and a half and I believe I can get two out of this because this is a six by six piece of paper so there we go and I believe this is right at the two and a half mark which means I can get a third one so from one six by six, I can get three cards. So I may only be able to do six, um, or I'll pull another sheet of paper to get the last two. I might be able to squeeze one out of here, and that will give me seven. So I'm gonna keep cutting. All right, so I was able to get seven, and one of them is out of that watercolor paper, so I'm just not gonna use the heart. I'm gonna use all the floral ones. So this is just a set of seven then, which would be kind of fun. I'm laying them out like this, because the first thing I wanna do is I wanna add a little bit of some texture with the stamp, with the, um, sorry. The stencil was one of the inks. So I'm gonna pull a darker ink color and just start layering with inks. I'm not trying to be perfect. You really gotta push to kind of get through. And I'm gonna show you a trick that we're gonna do in a second. So we're gonna push through everywhere the ink is. So just kind of getting it on the stencil. What I have here is I have one of the, um, the water brushes and what you do is you put alcohol in these and the alcohol and this particular ink is fantastic together. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the alcohol off and rubbing it off of the stencil and onto the paper, but it's only going to go where there's lines. So just kind of hold your paper and just brush it on. And you're going to get those beautiful lines showing up. It's going to be kind of random. It's not going to be super strong. The more you squeeze your water brush, the more is going to show up, um, kind of a lighter color. It's just another way of getting layers of dimension without having to get a whole lot of stuff wet. You know, it's kind of, oops, hold your paper and your stencil. <laughs> I'm not looking for perfect here. This is all just kind of grungy. And that's what you end up with, kind of a haphazard, almost like a trellisy look. So I'm going to continue doing, and if I get smudges, I'm not worried. I'm going to continue doing this. What I might do is I might flip this over now for some of them. So now that it's kind of on here, flip it and go reverse. Since I've already added all that yummy color on there, don't waste it, use it. And look, you got some stuff actually going on there. See? And since there's still a ton of color on this, I'm not going to bother re-inking. I'm just going to kind of re-wet and brush. There's so much color still on the stencil that I'm just kind of getting it re-wet. And I don't, it, I'm fine with the fact that it's not super dark. Pull it off the stencil, use it to your benefit.
See, and so it's just a light, little bit of a different variation. And then again, get on there, angle it this time. Use the middle for the last one. I want to go ahead and add some more. Make it easy to wiggle around. There we go. Now go back and just kind of smash it. Really get in there. Get that distressed action happening. And that dries pretty darn fast because it's just the ink. All right, the next one we're gonna do is this one and we're gonna do the same thing. This time I'm gonna pick a different color. We're gonna do the cabbage. And I've pulled the Jurassic and the cabbage and I also have the sage, but I don't know if I'm gonna do the reinkers. I'm gonna wait on that. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go in and it's just getting another layer of dimension on this. And do the exact same thing, but with the new color of cabbage. And I'm going to grab this kind of cool textured paper right here. It's almost, I mean, I have two of them. I'm going to start with one. And this time I am going to use my reinker. I'm going to take my reinker. First, I'm going to shake it up. And I'm also going to grab my rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to apply the reinker just kind of all around. I'm also going to take a little bit of the cabbage again. And just, oops, forgot to shake it. A few little blobs just to add some color. I am sticking with the green tone because that's what my friend, her, my friend's name's Karen. She has a YouTube channel that has some amazing videos. You gotta go check her out. And I'm gonna start with just adding some of the rubbing alcohol to the center of the paper. From here, I'm gonna start folding. I know it looks like a big giant mess. I'm really trying to cover it up really getting it in there. I'm going to take the second piece now and just lay it right over top and it, let it absorb all these beautiful colors and really get the two of them to go together and just kind of saturate them. Now I'm not too worried about getting both sides but I do want to get colors and I'm going to let this kind of do this drip dry effect. See how it's getting this really cool texture. The bubbles are creating texture. Look at all that neat texture that's on there now. Just by playing with layering them up. A little bit's gonna get distorted because of my fingers, but that's okay. Go with the other one, and they're pretty darn wet. I probably add a little too much alcohol. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna let these sit and dry and get nice and hard. I could air dry them with my, with my dryer, but I'm gonna let them air dry, not air dry. I could heat set them with my air dryer, but I'm not going to. Okay, so now that these are fully dried, I actually, we took, I took the kids went and we went and go swimming and I'm gonna start kind of ripping them up. All right, so now I have my pile of shreds, but if I add this to this, it's too green on green. We've got to add a layer of another color to this. That's where these background stamps come in. So I have my detail ink right here. And what I'm going to do is take each of my cards and I'm just going to do a variety. I'm going to start off with, let's do the waves. So this one is called wave background. And with a stamp this big, because it is so large, you don't really need a stamp block. So I'm going to take this giant stamp I'm gonna line up all my ATCs, and I'm pretty sure these are gonna all be vertical ATCs. I think that's where I'm gonna go with them. I don't know, maybe I'll make them horizontal, but I'm gonna stamp them vertically. Line them up pretty close together, and I'm gonna do kind of this batch, and then I'm gonna do this batch. And all you do is you stamp up your stamp block really good. Again, I'm not looking for perfection, and I'm just using the black detail ink as a contrasting color here. I already have some white, I've got lots of green. I need another color, but I really don't wanna add another color. So black is a good neutral. You could do a brown, that would work too. And then I'm just gonna come in, 
just add another layer of color, this time with direct stamping versus the stencils and see how it adds this really cool texture to the whole thing. Come in again. This time I'm just gonna do the bottom. If it overlaps and makes more of a mess, I don't care. I'm even catching the corner there, don't care. Some of it's kind of hazy, don't care. <laughs> just get messy, have fun. And I'm gonna catch this guy a little bit more right there. And that's it. So I did a layer with the stamp and that was the waves. That's kind of a cool background there. All right, so now that I've got kind of this distinction of layers, I've got a background of green and I've got a stamp layer of wrap. We're gonna add in some of these. So I have the Brutus Monroe glue, which I've put the fine line tip on this. So I'll make sure it's nice and clean. Make sure it's ready to go. Yep. And I'm just gonna start kind of layering up and just making some pieces and layers. And I got a lot here. Just having fun. Probably add like three layers to each, trying to show off some fun stuff and just kind of layering it up. I don't really have a rhyme or a reason here. Just sticking them down. Okay, so I'm gonna add another layer of color now with another background print. This time I'm gonna do the floral print and now I'm gonna start turning them to the side. I'm gonna start arranging them. Everything I've done at this point has been very vertical and I've been stamping and everything in the vertical fashion. Now I'm gonna go sideways and start adding some floral, but this time when I do the floral, I'm gonna do it in the alabaster. And it's just gonna be a very, very faint um, idea of a stamp. And this is actually called wildflowers. So, and the, the hint behind the wildflowers is because all of my stamps that I'm going to be putting on here as the focal point are in flowers. So for this one, I am going to use a stamp block and the larger Brutus Monroe stamp block does hold a four by six wonderfully, just as you see here. So therefore it can fit right on there. And this is a very juicy ink. So when I do this, I'm going to do two of them next to each other i'm also i'm going to try and get the grids because i'm not trying to cover it 100 percent so i'm just kind of doing a smile actually yeah this is again a background stamp just adding some more background some more layers little hints of stuff and this guy didn't get a ton but there's still some left in this corner so I can get it in there. Just adding some more layers of color. Let's do a little bit more down here. Adding in some fun. Getting a lot on my mat here. Having a wet paper towel is pretty handy. All right, I'm gonna line up my next ones. Again, going vertical or horizontal, sorry. Ink it up. And this is a very true to white color. This time I'm gonna do, well, I'm just gonna line them up like this. And then I do wanna get some higher stuff on this one because I just got lower. Just gonna go in the middle there. See, it's got some fun stuff happening here. I need a little bit more on this one. At this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, and these were all stickers to begin with from stamps, but you know, because stamps have changed to stickers versus the old lick stamps, I have not found a good way to remove them. It used to be that you could kind of sip them in water or steam them and they would come loose and you would loosen that adhesive, and I haven't found a good way to work with the stickers since this. So the best way I can do is just cut them apart. And they're not going to be perfect because these guys, when they were put on here, they were kind of overlapped, but they've got the cool inking on there because they had to put the stamp over top um, to show that they've been used, which I think is kind of fun. And so it adds kind of that mixed media layered effect and I didn't have to do a thing it's already that way. All right, the alabaster ink takes a little bit longer to dry, but I'm not too worried about being perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm ready to start kind of keep layering it up, but I want to add another darker layer. Thank you. 
So I'm gonna add some of my ink on here. And in my alcohol, try and just put a tiny, actually, no, I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna use my tip and just pour a bunch on here, just like this. And then kind of dab it in here. Just to change the color, just a tiny bit. So I'm gonna do one piece per card, just to add another dimension of layer of color. And not a giant piece, kind of a smallish piece. And because it's alcohol, it dries really fast. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, I'm just gonna do one with you guys really quickly. And this is the final steps. I'm gonna add a vertical, and then my flower here. At this point, everything's been very neutral. Every, you know, except for the black, it's been a very neutral color. And now I'm gonna go in and add my stamp and just kind of offset it within the flower. And that's it. Just like that. I might actually take another piece, I'm kind of thinking I might like this, just to kind of offset. I like that. Okay, so what I've done is I've just taken the Jurassic ink and then on the same wildflower stamp, there's this little hello. So I thought, why not? Just a quickie little word, hello, right there. And just kind of leave it like that. So it's a very mixed media. It's got some layers of all these different texture pieces I've thrown on there. So that's kind of the basis for where I'm going for the rest of these. So I'm gonna take another couple strips. This time I might go down here in the corner. I don't want to completely cover up my white here. You know, if it goes over the edge, no big deal. Punch another flower. Same foil on both sides, which I think is pretty cool. It just adds this kind of sparkle because everything's so muted. It just kind of gives a little bit of something going on. Another layer of a strip in there. Pick a cool stamp image to go on. Layer that somewhere in here. Take my hello stamp. This time I'll go right there. And hello, right there, just like that. Just simple. Now, the last thing I was thinking I was gonna do and I'm gonna do that once I finish the rest of these guys, is I have this spray here. I'm just gonna add another layer of something and just flicking, just like this. Just a little bit of something. And this is actually in a sterling. And so it's just kind of another dimension of color that's on there. And it's gonna kind of settle in and just do its thing. So that's kind of what the final look is gonna look like when it's all said and done. They're all gonna have the flower, same concept, they're all just gonna look a little different. So at this point, I'm just gonna let everything dry. They're pretty much done. I've got my seven, all with the flower stamps on them. This one actually goes this way and I'll get some pictures. So thanks so much for stopping by. Heads up, Rini is having a giveaway sample. The link to get your free sample for two four by four pieces of the foiled paper in glossy and textured random colors. Um, just have to be given your address and that's it. It's a free sample, ships you no charge. So make sure you go check. List for all supplies for everything I've used is down below and I will see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.